Yes. Okay, you're so excited for well, tomorrow. Oh, uh, the morning I have a non. The morning I have a class with you, and then I have to study all of the pages to a eight thirty. Eight thirty, I will have a class to eleven. Wow. Okay. And I will eat, and I will sleep. What time? I will go. Wow. So you're are you excited tomorrow? Yes, why not? Wow. But if, will... if I don't have present for your shoe. Okay, you have to buy present this afternoon if you don't have class. Tomorrow I don't have class. Ah, so you can Today buy present I have tomorrow. Too much class. After our class with teacher and you can buy present. No, I can't. After your class, I have to do my homework. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Today. Ah, okay. Tomorrow you buy. Tomorrow, then you will go in the morning. Where do I buy? And, and the, the bookstore is 9 p.m. It will uh, open. A.m. A.m. It will open. Maybe your mom will go in to buy. No, she will do. Because I don't go. She, I will say that she to go on the afternoon when they are riding a bike. Ah, okay. So now, Oyan, what, uh, what do you want to do first? You want reading or listening? Listening. Okay, listening. I sorry. Sorry, Oyan. Didn't share with you. Wow, so excited, and be also excited tomorrow. Is the hotel big, Oyan? Okay, so we have here some vocabulary words. We are now in listening. So when you have to see soft, okay, do you know the word soft? Soft. Dunk it. What's dunk it? Dunk it, no. Aha, what is that? Dunk it. Is. Dunk it, no. Is. The Wi Fi is low. <laughs> Okay, so now soft. What do you mean by the word soft? Okay, it is very soft. Okay, soft. Okay, so can you give me a sentence using the word soft? Okay, teacher will give a sentence first. Okay, here. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, teacher. I have. Oh, sorry. I have a soft blanket. Okay, how about you? Okay. I have a soft blanket. <laughs> okay, you have a soft blanket. Okay, very good. Okay, you can, uh, although you can speak it up. Okay, very good. Oh, yeah, you understand soft. Light. Easy to lift or move, not weighing very much. Okay, teacher will say, okay. The ball is so light. This, uh, this bag is made from light materials. Okay, that's why it's not heavy because it's made from light materials. Okay, how about you? The, the ball is too, so light. Oh, not the ball is so light. You can, you can use the word light for things. Okay, you mean you try you got what is light uh how about the cotton how about this wallet is light lighter than the bag okay it could be like that this 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 book is lighter than the the less okay very good this book 
is lighter. Very good, Uyan. Lighter than? Than? What? Than the? Than the dash. Than the dash. Very good. Okay, very good, Uyan. Okay. Uyan. Okay, very good. Go, great job, Uyan. Yay. Okay. Next one. Okay. Okay, very good. So you understand like that's what I want from Uyan. Backache. Oh my God. I have a backache today. <laughs> okay. I have a, a, a bad. We have got a back it three days now. Okay, how about Uyan? I don't know. Okay, you tell me back it. You understand back it? Yes, when yeah, you of course, teacher Ann. So tell uh, tell me about back it. I know. I said that. I don't understand it. Okay, you don't understand back it. So if you pain at the back, if you have pain at the back, ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. He is having a back. Oh, he's having a he is, he is having a back. He is having a back. Uh, having a back That's all? Yes, yeah, that's all. <laughs> camera, camera, camera. I honestly don't call me anymore. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, band. Okay, you know what is band? Yes. Okay, have you watched band? No. Okay. So next, we'll make another trouble agent. Trouble agent. Trouble agent. Yeah. I can go to. Oh, I have a travel, travel agent tomorrow. Wow. Okay. I will write here. Okay. This is Oyan. I have. Okay, I first teacher I. I have a travel agent tomorrow. <laughs> I have a travel agent. Okay, or you can say, oh, yeah, and I will talk to the travel. I will talk to my travel agent tomorrow. Okay, that is good. Okay, I will write here, oh, yeah. How about teacher Anne? Okay, teacher Anne. I don't like my travel agent. My travel agent. Okay. I will talk to my travel agent tomorrow. My travel agent give me a good service teacher <laughs> okay very good yay so i will talk uyan said i will talk to my travel agent tomorrow and uyan said okay that's uyan said um teacher my travel agent give me okay gives me a good service actually this is gives me no I'm saying that tomorrow I will 
go to a travel agent to okay. okay so at least you understand travel agent oh yeah Yay, very good. You're a very smart girl. Travel abroad. Ah, travel abroad. Ah, ha, ha. You want to travel abroad? Okay, when you travel abroad, of course, you need to have the travel agent because they will be the one to arrange your travel, like where you stay. Okay, have you been to other places except Vietnam? Yes, why not? Really? What place is that? Singapore. Danang. Dana, oh, other from Vietnam. Dana is in Vietnam. Other from Vietnam. Ah, only Singapore. <laughs> wow, you've been to Singapore. Is it nice, Oyan? I think. think How about the, I think if the I think I think if the COVID is not 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 bad, then when the the COVID is 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 off. It's not that too no, many. Let me go to Japan. Oh. <laughs> it's not that, too, not that too many COVID in Singapore. But Singapore is the cleanest country. It's the cleanest country. Yes, it, it is so clean. If you if you if you put put trash outside the outside, not in the garbage, they will they will they will send you that. Have to to pay money for it. Yeah. Yes. You have to pay money for it. Okay, that's how clean Singapore is. Okay, you have to pay money for it. Okay. okay. That's that's the reason why Singapore is very clean. Unlike in the Philippines, too many trashes. My country too, why not? In the Philippines, my country, my country. Uh, there are many trash. If the if the COVID is is gone, my mom will let me to Japan. We will let you go where? Japan. A Japan? Yes. Wow. Oh, you go to the Philippines, oh yeah. You come to the Philippines. You come to teacher and play. You come to teacher and play. I don't like Philippines. Ah, you don't like Philippines? There are many beautiful places in the Philippines. You come here in our place. No, but I don't like. You don't like? You don't want to see teacher Anne? I want to see you. I will go to Hanoi next year. You didn't go. Can you meet me in Hanoi next year? Why not? Why not? <laughs> okay. In next year, teacher Anne will go to Hanoi. You want it? Okay. So now here, I love yes. it. Oh, okay. I will go to Hanoi next year. Okay. So this one, okay. Now you listen carefully. Now we are ready to start. Very easy. Look at question one. One. When did Gary start his new job? Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. Hi, Jane. No, I've been busy with my new job. Really? When did you start that? May. I left my last job in April. <laughs> now listen again. Hello, Gary. I haven't seen you since March. Hi, Jane. No, I've been busy with my new job. Really? When did you start that? May. I left my last job in April. Two. What time does the film start? Hello, Odeon Cinema. Could you tell me what time the film starts, please? Certainly. There are two screenings. One at 4.30 and the other at 7. Thank you very much. Now listen again. Hello, Odeon Cinema. Could you tell me what time the film starts, please? Certainly. There are two screenings, one at 4.30 and the other at 7. 
Thank you very much. Three. What was the weather like on Saturday? Did you have good weather at the beach at the weekend? Yes, it was sunny all weekend. Wasn't it windy too? Only on Sunday. Now listen again. Did you have good weather at the beach at the weekend? Yes, it was sunny all weekend. Wasn't it windy too? Only on Sunday. Four. Which motorway will they take? I've put the luggage in the car. Can we leave now? OK. We'll go on the M6 motorway. Isn't it faster on the M1 and then the M62? Yes, usually, but there's been an accident on the M1, so I don't want to go that way. Now listen again. I've put the luggage in the car. Can we leave now? OK. We'll go on the M6 motorway. Isn't it faster on the M1 and then the M62? Yes, usually, but there's been an accident on the M1, so I don't want to go that way. Five. Which book does Lorna want? Have you finished studying yet, Lorna? No, not yet. Could you give me that book, please? Which one? There are three here. This one on the sofa? No, the one on the chair next to the sofa, please. Now listen again. Have you finished studying yet, Lorna? No, not yet. Could you give me that book, please? Which one? Either. There are three here. This one on the sofa? No, yeah. the one on the chair next to the... Yeah. Finish. Finish. Okay, finish. Okay, very good. Okay, let us have here. When did Gary start his new job? Okay, he said it's May. Oh, let us check for you, girl. May, May, May. May, May, May. <laughs> okay. Very good, it's May. What time does the film start? What time does the film start? Okay. Letter A, correct. What was the weather like on Saturday? What was the weather like on Saturday? Oh no. Okay, what's the weather like on Saturday? Letter B is your answer. Letter B, right? Yes. Okay, correct. Very good. Yay. Now, what time does the film start? What time does the film start? Uh, sorry, where am I? Which motorway will it take? Oh, what's your answer here? <laughs> B or C? Oh, it's the answer. It's letter. Okay. Okay. I cannot, I cannot see the answer. B. Okay, correct. Letter B. Which book does Lorna want? Okay, the answer is letter A. Very good. Wow, perfect. Oh, yeah. Yay. Okay, next one. Okay, this one, you listen to Sue talking to a friend about her new clothes. Why did Sue so decide to buy each thing? Okay. For question six to 10, write letter A to H. For question six to 10, write letter A to H next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Go in. Very good. Now look at part two. Listen to Sue talking to a friend about her new clothes. Why did Sue decide to buy each thing? For questions six to ten, 
Write a letter A to H next to the clothes. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi, Sue. Have you been to the shops? Yes. I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple jeans. Yes. I bought them because purple is my favourite colour. I got a new jacket, too. My old one is too small, <coughs> so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy a dress? I got this one because it was only £9. <gasps> That's not expensive. Then I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. Oh, it's lovely and soft. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy, but this one is really light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like mine? Well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. Now listen again. Hi, Sue. Have you been to the shops? Yes. I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple yeah. jeans. Yes, I bought them because purple is yeah. my favourite colour. I got a new jacket too. Yeah. My yeah. old one is too small, yeah. so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy? Okay, why are we in? I want to hear again. Oh, it's okay. Address. Oh, we I got part two. Listen to Sue talking to a friend about her new clothes. Why did Sue decide to buy each thing? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to the clothes. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi Sue, have you been to the shops? Yes, I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple jeans. Yes, I bought them because purple is my favourite colour. I got a new jacket too. My old one is too small, so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. <coughs> Did you buy a dress? I got this one because it was only £9. <gasps> That's not expensive. Then I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. Oh, it's lovely and soft. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy, but this one is really light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like mine? Well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. Now listen again. Hi Sue, have you been to the shops? Yes, I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple jeans. Yes. I bought them because purple is my favourite colour. I got a new jacket too. My old one is too small, so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy a dress? I got this one because it was only £9. <gasps> That's not expensive. Then I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. Oh, it's lovely and soft. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy. But this one is really light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like mine? Well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. Hey, Joe, can I hear you again? This is the end of part two. <coughs> Listen to Sue talking to a friend about her new clothes. Why did Sue decide to buy each thing? For questions 6 to 10, write a letter A to H next to the clothes. You will hear the conversation twice. Hi Sue, have you been to the shops? Yes, I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple jeans. Yes, I bought them because purple is my favourite colour. I got a new jacket too. My old one is too small, so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy a dress? I got this one because it was only £9. <gasps> That's not expensive. Then 
I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. Ah, oh, it's lovely and soft. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy. But this one is really light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like mine? Well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. Now listen again. Okay, number eight on this lucky. Hi, Sue. Have you been to the shops? Yes. I had some money for my birthday, so I decided to buy some clothes. I love those purple jeans. Yes. I bought them because purple is my favorite color. I got a new jacket, too. My old one is too small, so I bought this lovely big one. It's really great. Did you buy a dress? I got this one because it was only nine pounds. <gasps> That's not expensive. Then, I got a sweater to wear with my jeans. Ah, oh, it's lovely and soft. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Anything else? A coat. The long one I have is too big and heavy. But this one is really light. Did you buy a short white t-shirt like mine? Well, I bought a long white one. I'll wear it more often than a short one. This is the end of part two. Okay. Ready now to answer? Okay, I don't know the number question. Okay, number eight, you don't know that. Okay, jacket. Okay, so we have here, I told you to listen to talking to a friend about her new clothes. Oh. So, uh, bought a new clothes. She has a lot of money. Okay, she bought a new clothes. Okay, why did Sue decided to buy each thing? For question six to ten, write letter A, A to H next to each person. We have here. Okay, A. Next, very good. Jacket. And she has also the reason why she bought all of the clothes. Jacket, why? Because it's big. Oh, probably so like the big one. Seven. It's a dress. Yeah, it's cheap. She bought that because it's cheap, teacher Anne. How about this? Sweater. Okay. Because it is soft. Because it is soft. And next, because it is light. Oh, she bought the coat because it is light. T-shirt. Why she bought the T-shirt? Because it is, wow, very good. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's your scores now? Please give me the scores. Okay. I will give number eight as bonus because you are very good today. Okay. That's Correct, number eight, okay? I give the bonus because you are very good. Write the scores. Okay, what's the scores? Oh, I will be the one to write. You've got 10 over 10 for the scores, okay? 10 over 10 for the scores, okay? So what, next? So you've got 10 over, is teacher and correct? You've got 10 over 10. Okay, now for questions 11 to 15, you listen to John talking to Steve about getting a student travel card. For questions 11 to 15, check A, B, or C, and you will hear the conversation twice. So it means second time. Okay, please take note. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is £16. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh. There's a photo machine in the post office. 
It gives you four photos for three pounds. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving license, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. Now listen again. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is sixteen pounds. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh, there's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for three pounds. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving license, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. Peter, can I hear again? This is the end of part three. Yes, of course. Now listen to the conversation. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is sixteen pounds. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh, there's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for three pounds. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving license, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. Now listen again. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jan. I'm going to go to London on the train. Come with me. But it's cheaper by bus. I've got a student travel card. You can get cheap train tickets with it. Well, that sounds good. How much does it cost? A card for six months is sixteen pounds. So how do I get one? You need some photographs. One for the card and one for the form. Oh, there's a photo machine in the post office. It gives you four photos for three pounds. So does the one in the library. But I went to a photographer's shop. It was cheaper. I don't have to show my passport or my driving license, do I? That's right, Jan. You only need a letter from your college. I'll ask my teacher for one. And then you take everything to the tourist office by the travel agents. Great. Next time you go to London, I'll come too. This is the end of part three. Okay. Okay, so you have the answer now? Okay. okay, now, ready? How much is a travel card, teacher Anne? How much is the travel card, teacher Anne? How much is it? It is... It is... Teacher Anne, how much is the travel card? <laughs> okay, it is... Correct. 16 and John will need two photos, correct? Photos are less expensive. Okay, in the pho photographer shop. For the travel card, John must take what? Very good. John can get a travel card from her college. Okay, from the tourist office. Oh, you got one mistake here. 14 over 15. 14 over 15. Okay, next, Uyan. 
Okay, very good. Now let's finish reading. It's we are on uh we are now in 21. Okay, let's finish the reading. Very good. Wow. 14 over 15. Great job, Uyen girl. Yeah, one mistakes only. Oh my god. Very good. Okay. Now here. Let us finish the reading. We are in num uh, number 20. Okay, we are done with this. Okay, and I give you this as your homework. If you do it. <laughs> Did your mom tell you that teacher gave you a homework? No, she didn't say. Okay, this is 21, okay. Now here you read the article about the British Airway. Look at this, it's a big airplane, okay. Now, you have to tell me what is the correct answer, okay? But first, teacher Anne will read it for you so you can understand, okay? Now, you, you listen while teacher is reading. This is working for an online airplane, for an airplane, okay? Nicola Pitt Lee, uh, left school at 18. Oh, she did not go to college. Went to college and then worked at a local airport. After nine months, she went to work for Saudi Arabian Airlines, and then she joined the British Airways as an air hostess. So it means Nicola worked as an air hostess, okay, or it flight attendant. Four years later, she got her present job as the manager. Oh, imagine, she promoted after four years of working as an air hostess, she promoted, she become the present manager. This is what she told us about her job. My office is at uh, Heathrow Airport, but I spend 60% of my time in the air. Okay. I teach the air hostesses and help them with any problems. I also go to lots of meetings. Oh, she, although she is the manager, she also go fly 60% of his time, of her time, sorry, she go to the airplane, she ride there. She teach the air hostess what to do. My hours are usually 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But sometimes I work from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m. At work, the first thing I do is to check plane times on my computer. And then I speak with some of the air hostesses. Every day she does it. She does it every day. She check what time is it in the air airplane together with the time in her laptop. Then she talks to the air hostesses. Sometimes I go on long flights to check how the air hostesses are doing. Again, sometimes I go on the long flights to check how the air hostesses are going. That's my favorite part of the job. But I like office work too. She likes to work in the office, but she really likes to work in the airplane. Okay. Traveling can be hard work. Yes, it is hard work for her. When I get back from a long journey, all I can do is eat something and go to bed. Oh, I don't earn much money, but I am happy with British Airways and want to stay there and continue to travel. Okay, so it means she is not after with the money. She likes the job. She enjoys the job. Sometimes, she is in the office and sometimes she go with the flight. She ride the plane and help the other hostesses. Okay. Now give me the answer with 21 to 27. This story is about working for an airline. Okay, airline, it means the airplane. Okay, the owner of the airplane. In the Philippines, we have Philippines Airline. Okay, we have that. So she works in Saudi Arabian Airline and the British Airways. Now, you check your answer. What do you think is the correct? Okay. 
Oh, did you understand Erhus Pisas? Did you understand this word? Erhus. This one, Erhus Pisas. Did you understand that? No. Okay. Erhus Pisas, Uyan, are the one who assess you when you go to Singapore. There are ladies who ask you, Ma, this is your seat. Okay. That lady who assess you when you ride in a plane, they are air hostess. Okay? I don't have to do this one. <laughs> okay, that's a challenge. Go. I know you can do it. I always believe in you. Your mom said, how come that, okay, your mom said, oh, really? Oh, yeah, it's very good in reading. I mean, yeah, I do. We didn't do it before, but she's very good now, mom. And she said, oh, really? I am so proud of my daughter. Oh, your mom is so proud of you. Okay, let us cast. Let us uh, show your mom how good you are. Okay, do not make it fast. Just think, I'm not, I'm not making you fast. Very good, Uyan. When Nakula first started working for British Airways, she was a air hostess, a pilot, or a manager. A 
Okay, look at number 21. Do you think Nicola first started? First started? Yes, uh, an A. Okay. okay. You check letter A. You check letter 21. Okay, very good. Okay, I will check first. Okay, the answer 21 is? Yeah, very good. Okay, 22. Nicola does most of her work where? In the meetings, in the office, or in the aeroplanes? Aeroplanes, it means in the air. What do you think? It's in the office or in the meeting. Okay, 60%. Look at 60%. 60% of my time. Sixty percent of my time. What is it? Teacher, check it. Okay. Nicola does most of her work where? In the aeroplane. I told you 60% air, in the air. Okay. 23. Most days, Nicola starts work at what time? Okay, this is correct. It in the morning. Very good. Okay, you've got to correct. Very good. At the beginning of each day, Nicola, oh, this is correct. Okay, talks to air hostesses. Talks, okay, this is wrong. The correct answer is talks to air hostesses. Okay, this is the correct. Okay, three points, three correct, four. What does Nicola like best? Like best, what she likes best? She has two. First, she likes what? She likes? She likes to fly. And she also likes to work in the office. Okay. She has two likes. Okay. She likes to fly and she likes to work in the office. Okay. She has two, actually. But the first thing that she likes to do is she likes to fly, okay, 25. The first thing Nicola does after a long journey is, after the long journey, what did she do? She have a meal. Oh, okay, okay, fly, go, erase, change. Oh, you change it. Yay! So. Mm. Ah. Okay. Now here. Okay. Correct is yes, teacher. She have uh, after she got she. Um, she go to bed because she is tired already from flying. 27. Nicola would like to what? To stop traveling? Stay in the same job? Oh, did she tell that I will stop traveling? Did she tell you that I will stop traveling? Did she tell that? Uh, normal. Normal. No, she said she will. What is this? I don't earn much money, yeah, but I'm happy with the British Airways and want to stay there and continue to grow. Okay, what's the answer? 
A, B, or C? A, A, B, A, B, and C. <laughs> A, B, and C. The correct answer, Uyen, is what? What do you mean with this? I want, I am happy. Correct. I am happy. And I want to stay there. Okay. So it means she will, what's the answer for 27? What's the answer? She will, oh, earn money. What else? She will, I don't. I don't earn much money, but what? Yes, very good, Oyen. Yes, she wants to stay in her job. Even though she didn't earn money, but she wants to stay there and continue to travel. Very good. So two, four, six, seven. So you've got five over seven. You've got two mistakes only. Very good, great job. Okay. Five over seven here. Okay. This great job because it means you understand the story. Because if you did not understand the story, you cannot get five over seven. This is quite hard because you're eight years old. Okay. It's quite hard for an eight years old. Okay. Hey. One, one, and more. Oh, one more, one last. Read the article oh. about working holiday. Oh. oh, this is the last one. You try this. No, so, I don't want to do anymore. Oh, just, don't be lazy. Don't just one. Try. Okay, just one. This is the last. Go. No. No. Oh, yeah? This is the last one. Do it. I know you can do it. Just be I don't want to do anymore. Why? You don't like it? I don't want to do. Okay, so what will we do? You don't like to do? Okay, this is the last. You try. You just only try. No, I don't want to try. You don't like to try. Why? You don't like the story? I don't want to do anymore. Oh, you don't want to do anymore. Okay. So uh, anyway, it's already time. It's 8.29. Okay. So, but anyway, here you have the Rowan Zuzori, Rowan Zori Mountains. Okay. Rowan Zori Mountains. The first here is when. Okay. My Mary Daniels is a student in England. This year, she, okay, she had a very interesting summer holiday. She traveled, what? With 15 other people to Rowan Zori Mountains in Africa. They went there to help make a road through the forest between two big towns. So they will be making a road. It was very difficult because there was no water to drink and no shops where we can we could buy a food, said Mary. It was also very cold and wet in the mountains. It is one of the wet, wet. It is one of the wettest place in the world. Oh, Rowan Zori Mountains is one of the wet, wettest places in the world. Okay. Mary stayed in the mountains for six weeks. It was hard work, but she says it was the best thing she ever had. She done. Oh, that was the best thing she ever done working in the mountain because they will be building a road from the forest going to another towns. Okay, that is Mary. She's actually she's a student. She's hoping to return next year to do some more work there. Okay, imagine Mary Daniel is a student in England. Okay, but she's very interesting with her summer holiday. She spent her summer holiday well because she went to the Rowan Zori Mountains and tried to help them build the roads going to another towns. It was a challenge because there were no water to drink. And there were no shops where we could buy food. 
and it is very cold and wet because rowing Zori Mountain is considered as the wettest, wet, wettest places in the world. So therefore, it's a challenging. But Mary stayed there for work. Six weeks, imagine, that's one and a half month. It was hard work. So Mary is a very hardworking woman, hardworking girl. Hey, would you like to be Mary? You want to do that? Would you like to work in the mountains where there is no water and no food? Can you do that? What do you think? No. Really? Can you can you do that without food and water and you are working there? No. Okay. It's very hard. That's very hard. Water is very important. But because Mary is very courageous, very hardworking, she was able to do that. Okay. Like what we had, okay, Oyen keep on studying every day because Oyen is a very hardworking girl, hardworking little girl. She studied with teacher Anne. And look what happened. Oyen is very good already. She keeps on facing the challenges every day, the problem, the activity, how to answer, how to make it clear. I don't want to study anymore. Oh, but you are very good. Okay, so now we don't have time. So teacher Anne will say goodbye for now, okay? Oh, yeah? You know, oh, yeah, I have, oh, wait, stop. I have my students, okay? My student's name is Amy. Amy is a uh, nine. Okay. Amy wants to study with me every day, but her mom told we only have to study two times a week. So that's why Amy keep on asking, teacher, teacher, can we study next time? Can we study when? This today we have a lesson with Amy. Amy is a very active, very bubbly. Okay. Keep on talking, talking, talking. Okay. So like you, you are studying every day. That's what Amy wants every day okay so now oyen we don't have enough time thank you so much for today okay bye 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 bye